Uh, I, I saw the opening game England yesterday. <clears throat> First half, I think they were outstanding. Should score some more goals. Uh, but in the second half, they show that they can be vulnerable as well. But they haven't lost any games in a long, long time. So the confidence that they have and, and the fans on, on in the stands will help them to build on this. Uh, but also that could be it could be a plus and it could be a minus like the um, attention make you more nervous. Uh, but I think they are in a good place now. And Serena Wigman, she's been in the Euro final with Holland, but also in the in the World Cup final. So she has the experience of going through. Uh, for the match, Norway, England, it will be a close match. Uh, but player for player, the, the England player are better, but it like team Norway can can uh, yeah if not beat everyone you can get a good good result obviously getting a player with uh, her quality has been a world class player for many years and even though been injured for one and a half almost two years she draw quite attention from the opponents, uh, obviously as well. So she bring confident to to Norway, uh, to the team, and and hopefully we will see her at her best this Euro. Uh, well, I I don't know her uh, that that well, <clears throat> only through seeing her play for Lyon and and Champions League and and all the big games that she stepped forward and be like a top scorer uh, in all those games and even coming back to Norway and, and scored uh, as soon as she stepped on the field that bring the confidence to the team. Also off the field, as far as I know, she will uh, have young, young uh, boys and girls uh, role modeling uh very focused on the next generation growing up female role models and and equality so she brings more than on the field to to the team but also to norway to to put focus on equality and and uh, that aspect of the game as well absolutely and that's uh in, in the women's game that when you have the world-class player, you want you want them in the tournament so the fans can see them uh, on in their own environment. And, uh, and obviously when Ada didn't play, uh, you miss something. So you want the best player always to, to play in, in Euros and World Cups and Olympics. I think when you lose uh, a world-class player, you can either uh, don't believe this can go all the way, or you can build on that and bring more energy, more team uh, commitment. And uh, I guess Spain want to win something, and, and maybe this is the time to step up and, and show that they have a quality team uh, all over. I think the most important game they play is tonight against Northern Ireland uh, and also Austria will be a key key game if they get a good result against England that it will uh, either be in Northern Ireland or Austria probably that will be the key key games and uh, and get a good result against England. Uh, I've been expected Spain going through uh, a few times now. Uh, they had obviously injury 
with a key player uh, yesterday or the day before. So that will be a setback, of course, but maybe the team now steps out and, and become uh, the team and not individually uh, as good. But still, they have some key players that will uh, manage to do well. And most of them are playing in in Barcelona, so they know how to play and uh, yeah, know each other quite good. So I think Spain this time can be a threat. Uh, Germany, not so sure. Uh, but hope, hopefully we get some surprise. <laughs> mm -hmm.